Hello, I'm the artist Natalia Hughes. Welcome to the castle of Tarragindi. The castle of Tarragindi is something that my daughter Violet and I came up with. She loves castles um, and we live in Tarragindi. Who doesn't love a castle really? So Violet and I saw a picture of a castle in Italy called Castello di San Giorgio Canavesi and we really, really loved that castle. It's covered in grotesque designs by a French designer called Jean Borain. So we usually use the word grotesque to talk about something that's yucky or maybe a little bit scary, but I'm interested in a different kind of grotesque, one that's from a history of ornament and decoration. So usually in grotesque designs, we might see things like plants or animals or curves, um, but combined together into ways that we wouldn't normally expect. So they become hybrids of things. Grotesque can be very beautiful because of their detail. When you look more closely, they're often quite strange. I think what kids will enjoy about the grotesque is how imaginative it can be. Something doesn't need to be a plant or an animal or a decorative design. It can be part plant, part animal, part decoration. It can combine your face, paws of a dog and a tail of a cat and the beak of a chicken. It's pretty exciting to see what's possible if you don't get stuck in categories and what one thing is to another. So some details you might be interested that appear in the wallpaper designs are things that are very meaningful to me and to Violet. So for example, our cat, Coach Eric Taylor, and our chicken, Crisp the Chicken, appear in the designs. There's plants from Tui Forest, which is very close to the house. And then there's some of the original plants that were in the Jean Varane designs. There's things that I associate with the Queensland Art Gallery site, so ibises and water dragons. There's also some drawings that Violet has made. So Violet really loves decorating things, and in particular, she loves decorating things with characters that she's made up. So we thought that it would be fun to invite you in to do something similar in the castle. There's also pictures of Violet and me and Violet's dad, the artist Nicholas. So in visiting the castle of Tarragindi, one thing we're hoping that kids might think about is what might be important to them and how might they work that into their own house, into their own decorations, into their own designs. So my art practice is usually about decoration and ornament. I usually find decorative languages that other artists have used and I use them as a basis to make my own work. So when you come to the space, you'll be able to make your own hybrid grotesque creatures. You'll be able to decorate 3D objects with your own designs, and you'll be able to make your own design elements that would be at home in the castle of Tarragindi. Mm -hmm.